teachers pay teachers. Every teacher selling on this marketplace wants to strike oil, becoming the next Jack Clampett. However, someone from a distant land has created a far more effective example for frustrated educators to attain financial success from their professionalism that has nothing to do with selling digital products and then leaving a the profession. That seems to be the MO for a lot of teachers these days. What's up everybody? Welcome for the first time back to another Deshaun Johnson teacher video. And today I'm going to tell you about the man, the myth, the legend of South Korea, Mr. Kim Ki-hoon. In 2013, the Wall Street Journal wrote an article titled The $4 Million Teacher. I'll leave a link in a pinned comment so you can check it out. Now, I discovered this article at the same time in 2013, remembering I want to be just like this guy. I was embarking on getting certified teaching 8 through 12 English right here in Texas. The strategies, work ethic, and methods of Mr. Kihoon inspired me to enter the field with an entrepreneurial mindset and setting myself apart from other teachers. Though I was working for a school district, the experience I gained could be later leveraged to create digital products of my own. And I did that teaching online through the power of YouTube and using other mediums. Kim Kihoon embraces the necessary grind of education. However, this does not involve the bureaucracy and conflict that contaminates American public education produces students who are questionable graduates. South Korea already outperforms the US market on sheer volume alone. So for example, when a standard school day has already like gone, come and gone, Students are immediately preparing for after-school tutorials every single day, while American students are just striving for the dream of attaining more by doing less. This isn't the case for Mr. Kihoon. His philosophy is relatable for every layman instructor. The harder I work, the more I make. I like that. He's in control of the outcome of his profession. Not administrators, not parents, and surely not the students. Now that sounds a little bit harsh to say, but it shows in his results. People seek him out. They're willing to pay for his time through synchronous and asynchronous learning. According to that same Wall Street Journal article, Mr. Kihu's blueprint for success is designed as the following. Mr. Kim works about 60 hours a week teaching English, although he spends only three of those hours giving lectures. His classes are recorded on video and the internet has turned them into commodities available for purchase online at the rate of $4 an hour, back in 2013, mind you. He spends most of his week responding to students' online requests for help, developing lesson plans, and writing accompanying textbooks and workbooks, about 200 to date. The bulk of Mr. Kim's earnings come from the 150,000 kids who watch his lectures online each year. Most are high school students looking to boost their scores on South Korea's version of the SAT. He is a brand name with all the overheard that such prominence in the market entails. He employs 30 people to help him manage his teaching empire and runs a publishing company to produce his books. Now, some of us may not have these same grandiose aspirations to be another Kim Ki-hoon, but what can be done today to be the best version of ourselves in our own right? If you're a teacher watching this video, how many years of experience do you have invested in pouring into so many young minds over the years? Did you lead a profession disgruntled because of how education today has changed? Do you feel as if your expertise is now wasted because you left bitter and angry, but still have a heart for gifting understanding to those who do not have understanding? The single lesson I learned, I encourage you to take from Kim's efforts is to learn how to leverage your experience, distilling it so others can find some benefit from it. As I said earlier, run of the mill wisdom suggests to package this up into a typical digital product, but you already knew that. I have better advice for you, especially if you're an educator, Place the hurt. Look beyond just being a teacher with wishful thinking about third parties improving that system. Teaching in America has its issues, but it's not without its bright sides. I have gained insight on classroom management, building relationships with a cultural spectrum of students, and developed wonderful professional relationships and won awards throughout my educational tenure. I never gave up or allowed popular opinion about education to sway my experience. Instead, I asked, how can I separate myself to be sought after by others by adding value differently? That's the biggest lesson I pulled away from Kim. For me, he is the ultimate teacherpreneur. I believe most teacher misery emanates from a lack of drive outside of teaching itself, meaning that teachers simply just teach and do nothing else. I believe to be an effective teacher today in 2022, you have to have other ventures developing as a means of hope. Hear me out on this one. Most educators feel as if they are stuck where they are never able to leave a classroom because they have nothing else going on. And if they leave, their only other options are McDonald's or retail. 
And that's a sad case to see for many people to be believing that. When I taught English, I was a happy English teacher because I was actually working on my writing and web design career as well. I brought my work experiences into the classroom to be an example to not only the students, but my colleagues as well. When the time came to leave, it was an easy pivot because I had the catalog built up as a professional, as professional proof of my skill set. I took a page out of Kim's book, leveraging my knowledge by utilizing things such as teachers pay teachers to create a product, but it wasn't the only thing, as well as share my expertise on YouTube. Now, here's what I suggest for others to do. Number one, build your own product line based on your own educational experiences. Utilize, leverage teachers, pay teachers, but there's other things like Gumroad and more platforms, marketplaces that you can use. There's a smart passive income episode that is, I believe, 141, and I'll leave a link in the pinned comments as well, the end description, and it's about Shane and Jocelyn Sams in terms of how they've taken their experience as a library teacher and Shane, who was an actual football coach, and took his plays and packaged them up and started selling them on their own website. They didn't even use Teachers Pay Teachers. So check out that episode as well in the pinned comment section. Now, here's something that you don't hear in the conventional wisdom when just placing products on Teachers Pay Teachers. You can actually utilize things such as Uscreen or Vimeo OTT to build your own digital school or AKA Udemy. If you look at Kim ki hoon he actually leveraged private tutoring. He have a private tutoring practice that he actually utilized in order to build his empire in addition to all those online lectures that was turned and selling for a dollar a pop in order to add to that community, in order to add to his empire that he was building. You can utilize things such as screencasts or matter to create the instructional videos that you're adding to your digital school using something like uscreen.com. I'll leave links for the, in the description and in the pinned comment as well for those resources too. Number three, write books and teach the tenants from them. During my years, I've noticed that people who are hired to speak at professional trainers are merely former teachers with a minimum of five years experience in the classroom. And then they take that five years that they received and curated it as a cure to the things L in public education today. People that come with this Yoda knowledge beyond their youthful years are Harry Wong, Ruby Payne, who are OGs in their own right. We, unfortunately, may not be making $4 million anytime soon, but that doesn't mean we can't strive for those same heights in our own right. Now, where is this legendary man today? And that's a good question. I imagine he is still teaching, building on his own fortune. According to the Korea TESOL website, he has been teaching for the good part of 25 years, teaching English to native Korea students. Now it should be noted that the article providing this information on the website is archived from 2018, but it's the most recent piece that I can find about him. There may be other things out there, but that's all that I can discover. As I said earlier in the video, Mr. ki set a template for myself on how I can convert my experience into a profit. Yet, as profound as his success is, you yourself cannot reach this mentality until you dig enough and search why you want to even stay in the education field, especially if you're on the ready to quit side. You're ready to make another um, teacher I quit teaching video. Instead of listening to the same why I quit teaching videos of people who only been at it a year or maybe even shorter than that, watch a different and fresh perspective on seven concrete reasons to stay in your position right here in this video.